Thank you for tuning in to Race Groups. Today we're doing some downhill racing on the Hot Wheels Super 6 Lane Raceway. The contestants are my complete collection of the Hot Wheels Highway 35 World Race cars. On the right is the Diora 2. He is the team captain for the Wave Rippers. In the movies, that was Vert Wheeler's car. One of these cars was driven by a lady. Do you know who? The 70 Roadrunner was team leader Taro Catano's car. Mattel had the Red Baron as one of the team's cars. The Red Baron is one of the early Hot Wheels cars. Slingshot was driven by Kurt Wilde, team leader for Street Breed. The actual race in the movie takes place on Highway 35. So Mattel released 35 cars. Each of the five teams has seven racers. Crazy Eights leads the Dune Rats. If you've seen the movies, you know that's driven by Brian Kadeem. Some cars in this video have not been released for a long time like Wild Thing. Ballistic was driven by Banji Castillo. Ballistic is still in the lineup and we get a new color from time to time. This is the Road Beast team and look, there's Twin Mill, an original Hot Wheels casting. You probably already noticed that several of the Wave Rippers models have surfboards. Here you have Diora 2. And he has two surfboards. I'm going to leave them attached because sometimes they are hard to get back in. Backdraft, he just has one single surfboard mounted vertically. Finally, here's Switchback. He has two surfboards just like Diora 2. Looks real nice. Now the 70 Roadrunner doesn't have any moving features, but I will use it to show the fantastic graphic. Mattel used water slide decals. It was not a printing process. Finally, here's the Red Baron, which is one of the most popular Hot Wheels models. Here it has a rounded top and Mattel no longer produces it with the point. On the base, you can see it says Vintage and it has an original copyright date of 1969. Slingshot from Street Breed is another fine example of the excellent graphics that they could achieve from the water slide graphic process. I think they called it Graphic Fusion or Fusion Graphics, I forget which way. Here's Road Rocket. He was hard to find, but back then he had a moving feature. You can open up his canopy, but with the modern Road Rocket, this has been sealed and it is no longer movable. This car was another hard one to find and it actually has several names. On the base they call it Silver Bullet. It was another one of the set that was hard to find and it was released near the end of the production run. Now Team Captain Brian Kadeem drove Crazy 8s. You know we haven't seen a new Crazy 8s model in many years. It's time for a new color, don't you think? Of course we're looking at the Dune Rats, so now let's take a look at the 1997 Ford F-150. Flat black paint, excellent graphics. Oh yeah, by the way, this bed cover pops off. When you pop it off, it just has a silver interior. I'm going to put this back together later on. Here's Wild Thing. We haven't seen any versions of Wild Thing for a very long time. Kind of a cool design. He's probably not going to do very well on the downhill race with these three tiny wheels. But I said I'd race all 35, so he's racing too. This older version of the model is cool because it has an opening hood. After I show you these three Road Beast models, we will get to the racing. Here's Ballistic, driven by Team Captain Banji Castillo. Ballistic is still being used as we get new colors from time to time. Here's Power Rocket. This is another model that has changed. When these cars were released, we could open up the driver's compartment. It was a cool feature that is missing from modern releases. Last up, an original Hot Wheels model from way back in the day. Here you have Twin Mill. He's got some outstanding graphics. He has two big engines, which is where he got the twin part of his name. The original copyright date is 1969, just like Red Baron. Another classic Hot Wheels model. Let's get started with the Wave Rippers. We are going to do four cars at first. From left to right, we have Switchback, Chevy Nomad, Corvette Stingray, and on the right, Power Pipes. Winner! Lane one. 
Power Pipes takes that one. He will advance to the next round. We'll set the others right here because they will get to race again. Each team will have three members advance to the main competition. However, we will have one wild card position. Here we have the Diora 2, Backdraft, and Chrysler Thunderbolt. Backdraft takes the second position. Now we're going to race all of the remaining Wave Rippers to see which one will get the third spot. Here are the last five members from Wave Rippers. Only one is going to get a spot in the competition. All the others will be battling for a single wild card position. The Diora 2 will be representing the Wave Rippers. Now the other... Sir. Sir, you're... Excuse me. Somebody please page security and get that man out of the way. <coughs> yeah, security. He's heading to the left side of the building. Now it's time for four Scorchers to compete. On the left in lane four, you have the Dodge Charger RT. Then Muscle Tone. Quarter Mile Coupe. And the 63 Corvette. By the way, it does say Corvette Stingray on the base. That gets confusing, but this is the 63 Corvette. Winner, lane four. Dodge Charger RT wins that one, but what's up with Quarter Mile Coupe? Ah, oh, check it out. His side pipes rub on the track. That's not good for racing. He'll get set to the side. Dodge Charger RT gets to advance, representing the Scorchers. The other two, they'll get a chance in a moment. But first, the other three cars get their first shot. Here comes the Red Baron, the 57 T-Bird, and the 70 Roadrunner. The 70 Roadrunner does advance. Now the rest of the team, the five cars are going to race to see who gets that third spot. And the rest are going to compete for that one wild card position. Which Scorcher is going to earn their way into the competition? The 57 T-Bird will round out the members from the Scorchers team. All the other models will get set to the side. This is where I'm going to keep the cars. All these cars here are going to compete for just one spot. Now it's time for Team Street Greed. Here we have Side Draft, I Rock Firebird, Silver Bullet, and the Pontiac Rages. Wow, that was a very close race. The IROC Firebird couldn't quite do it as the Pontiac Rages nips him at the finish. Let's get the other three members of the team Street Breed. The team leaders on the left, Slingshot, 24-7 in the middle, and Road Rocket along the right edge. Slingshot easily wins that one. He'll take the second position representing his team. Here are the remaining five members. One of them will advance. The rest will have to fight for that wild card spot. Once again, the IROC Firebird involved in a close race, but this time he edges out at the finish line. Four cars will be put in the wild card pile while the IROC takes his position up with the rest of his street breed team. Now it's time for the Dune Rats to take to the track. Again, from left to right, here comes Wild Thing. Remember that one had the opening engine hood. 1997 Ford F-150, the 68 El Camino, and the Toyota RSC. Wow, the Toyota RSC comes from behind to claim the first position for the Dune Rats. And remember, Wild Thing, those little skinny wheels? Yep, 
not very good for downhill racing. The Toyota RSE will take his place up in the case. The others, they'll just have to get another chance in the wild card race. Now let's get the last three racers. Here comes Crazy Eights, Mega Duty, and Sweet 16 2. Mega Duty way out in front. He gets to take the second position for the team. Uh oh, Crazy Ace, that's the team leader. This is his last chance to qualify for the competition. I'm sure everybody knows who's going to be last, but we're looking to see who's going to be first. Sweet 16 makes it into the competition, and Wild Thing, well, just barely makes it over the finish line. Sweet 16 takes his position. The rest get put into the wild card pile. Now it's time for the next team. We have the Road Beast. We're going to get the, oh, can't forget that one. Here comes Power Pistons, Zodic, Vulture, and Twin Mill. Well, that was an easy call. Power Piston just blowing away the competition. These will get for, uh, excuse me, turn, excuse me, excuse me, turn over. Hey, it's not time to take a nap. <laughs> Up next, team leader Ballistic, Power Rocket, and Moto Crossed. Ballistic way out in front. He'll take another spot. Now it's time for the rest of the team to fight for a spot. Who is going to be the one to fill out the Road Beasts team? Winner, lane two. Wow, Vulture, the little guy, coming out in first place. He'll take the third spot. Everybody else into the wild cards. Each team has four cars that did not make it. We're going to do some elimination racing, and only one car is going to make it into the wild card spot right after this break. Here we go, the wild card competition. Let's go ahead and pick one car from each of the teams. That means we'll have five different cars. One car will advance to the wild card final round. Let's see who that's going to be. This time when they lose, they are done. No more racing for them. Winner, lane four. Ah. Oh no, did you see that? I grabbed the wrong car. The Chevy Nomad didn't win. 24-7 won. So I'm advancing 24-7 uh, properly. You'll see him coming up. He'll be he'll be in his proper spot. But when you, when you see that race, you're going to see towels on the side of the track. That's because I had to cover up other t cars because uh, I've actually I've done other races. I, it would reveal who wins the race. So you you're going to see a piece of cardboard and you're going to see towels because I have to I have to hide who wins, who loses. Okay, but 24/7, he's going to be advanced to his proper place. Now let's go ahead and pick one of each team for the next wild card race. The winner of this match will go up against the winner of the other wild card winners. And the ultimate winner will get to enter the contest. Quarter mile coupe over in lane two. Remember, he's going to be slow because his side pipes get hung up on the track. Road Rocket from the Street Breed team edges out the 68 El Camino. Two cars left from each team. It doesn't look like we have any slow cars left. None of these had any problems with the track. We have a team captain in this race, Kadeem driving Crazy 8s representing Dune Rats.
There you go. Crazy Eights advances and the others, well, see you later. Maybe I'll do another race another time. Here are the last five cars with their last hopes of getting into the competition. Even if they win this race, they have one more race to determine the ultimate wild card entry. Here are their lane positions. Set. Go. Windmill looked a little slow. I wonder if he's a little wide for the track. I'll have to check that later. Side draft makes it to the wild card finals. As promised, I put 24 7 in this competition because he rightfully won. We also have side draft, crazy eights, and road rocket. Only one is going to win the wild card entry. If this track were a little bit longer, 24-7 might have won that race. But no, the winner is Sidraf, and he gets to advance into the main competition. With Sidraf winning the wild card spot, Street Breed has an extra racer. Here are the matchups for the main competition. Are some of your favorite cars still in the race? Here's our first matchup. It'll take two wins to advance. The Diora 2 takes the first race. Now let's switch lanes. Winner, lane four. Ah. The Diora 2 takes both races. Now let's get the next two contestants. They take their starting positions. Say go! The 70 Roadrunner started quick, but Pontiac Rages got that victory. Can he get two and knock out a favorite car? Winner, lane five. Ah. That time he started quick and didn't look back. Here we go, final race. Pontiac Rages tries to pass him at the finish, but it was too late. Roadrunner advances. It's time for Sweet 16-2 against Side Draft. Winner, lane four. Ah. Switch lanes. Sweet 16-2 needs a win. Sweet 16-2 has been eliminated. Side Draft, who was the wild card entry, advances. Here is Mega Duty against Ballistic, and it looks like Mega Duty has an advantage. With his lifted body, he goes up over the starting peg. As you can see here, he has about a half inch head start. Even with that head start, it does look like he pulled away a little bit. Switch lanes, here we go. Winner, lane four. Ah. Even with a possible slight head start, he does pull away and he will be advancing. Here come two cars that I like to collect. That wasn't even close. Winner, lane five. Ah. The 57 T-Bird is out. Backdraft will advance. Since the Toyota RSC bumps into the starting block, I'm going to shift them over to lanes five and six. Power Pipes gets the first win. Winner, lane five. Ah.
Up next, we have Street Breed versus Road Beasts. That's the IROC Firebird against Power Pistons. That was a close race with Power Pistons taking that one. Winner, lane five. Power Pistons takes them both and advances. The IROC Firebird will have to race another day. Here are the last two from the Sweet 16 bracket. You have the Dodge Charger RT against Slingshot. Slingshot leads from start to finish, but he needs another win to advance. Winner, lane five. And the Dodge Charger RT is out. Slingshot easily dismisses him two straight races. Now we have our final eight. Even though Street Breed came into the Sweet 16 with an advantage, that has dissipated. The Wave Rippers now have three going into the final eight. Those races are coming up next. Here are the head-to-head -head matchups. There's three team leaders still in the competition, and so is the wildcard winner, Side Draft. It is still two out of three wins will advance. Power Pistons is good on the boosters, loops, and curves, and he's showing he can be good on the downhill as well. Winner, lane five. The Diora 2 ties it up. This is the deciding match. Power Pistons tries to catch up, but it is too late. Power Pistons will compete for a ranking. The Wave Rippers Diora 2 advances to compete in the semifinals. Another Wave Rippers team member, Power Pipes, is competing against the 70 Roadrunner, the team leader for the Scorchers. Can the Roadrunner keep a Scorchers team member in the competition? Winner, lane five. Yes, he can, as he knocks off power pipes to a lower level. The cars on the bottom row will be competing for positions 5th through 8th. Here comes Slingshot and Backdraft. Backdraft gets the first one. Winner, lane five. Team leader Slingshot is defeated. Backdraft will move on. Wildcard winner Side Draft against Mega Duty, who still has that slight lead. Switch lanes, Mega Duty with one point. Winner, lane five. Side draft is not victorious. Mega Duty will move on and competes for a top four position. Now we're going to take those four cars on the bottom row and they're going to compete for fifth place. Power Pistons finishes in 5th place. Here are the final contenders racing for a place on the podium. Winner, lane five. Slingshot gets 6th place and will be the sole representative from Street Breed on the podium. Here are the final four. We're going to race all four. Whoever wins is 1st place. And then we'll race the remaining to get second, third, and fourth. Winner, lane three. 
side draft from the Wave Rippers takes first place. Now let's see who's going to take second place. Mega Duty from the Dune Rats takes second place. That leaves Taro Kitano with his Scorcher 70 Roadrunner against Vert Wheeler's Wave Rippers Diora 2, battling for third place. An excellent close race with the Diora 2 taking fourth place. And the 70 Roadrunner taking third. Well, there was some great racing action. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and have fun with your cars. Bye-bye.